Hey, Mike with Rogue Pest Control here. And have you ever wondered what's a locust? Now you've probably heard of them throughout history, maybe in the Bible or maybe referred to as causing plagues in history, but you know, do they still exist? Are they still around? And what exactly is a locust? So today's video will be answering those questions and more, so stay tuned. Now basically a locust is very similar to a grasshopper and one of the main differences that's going to separate your run-of-the-mill grasshopper from a locust is that locusts will occasionally tend to gather in massive swarms and this is really when you may have heard of them in the past or referred to throughout history as being a plague or again in the bible you hear about locusts as well doing massive damages to crops and that's still really the case right and so you heard about them for a long time probably throughout history and again even dating back to ancient egypt and but at the same time you might not really have heard of them much today or in recent times and there's a few reasons for that now again in the past locusts have been more of a major issue just because they the detection methods of pest control in general have really evolved so basically the ability to track locust swarms to uh, get rid of them with pesticides and pest control techniques uh, has been a major factor in reducing major issues with locusts. So again, compared to a regular grasshopper, the biggest difference again is that they gather in massive swarms and this can really lead to drastic damages. It's led to famine in the past where these huge swarms of locusts will go out and destroy major patches of crops throughout history. And this has really led to some interesting things as well where now here in the Western world, most of us don't really eat bugs, right? We don't eat insects, but in other parts of the world, Middle East, Asia, Africa, they do eat insects, right? And so some of this may have actually stemmed from uh, locusts throughout history where they would destroy entire crops, creating famine. And a lot of the people living at that time didn't really have any other options. So they actually started eating locusts and you know some cultures still do eat them today as well. And so they can be prepared either smoked or fried. Uh, they can be dried out and eaten as well. Now again, most of us probably wouldn't be wanting to eat them, but some cultures that's totally normal eating insects and different things like that. And so maybe, who knows, maybe we'll see locusts on the menu coming up at the, the state fair here, you know, in your local area. but. Probably not. And, you know, at the same time, though, beyond just uh, being a food source and, you know, still sometimes being eaten like that today, uh, for the most part, like I said, we don't really hear about locusts as much uh, just because pest control techniques, tracking has improved significantly uh, throughout history. So instead of these swarms getting to the dangerous point and taking out crops, creating famine, uh, we're able to control them a lot better. Now, even in in recent history though in some parts of Africa even in the the mid 2000s it has been reported that they've been causing massive damage plague-like instances uh, throughout the world but again it's really few and far between at this point and uh, the further we go the more enhanced our pest control tracking uh, elimination methods get uh, the less and less likely you're probably going to hear about issues with locusts causing plague-like issues, causing famine, because just the better that we get at tracking them and getting rid of them, the less issues you're really going to find. And that's most likely why you maybe haven't really heard of locusts anytime recently, unless it's in referring to ancient history, because the again, the more improved we get as a whole, uh, the less issues we're going to have with locusts. So that's one kind of the maybe things you don't necessarily hear about when it comes to pest control is that as technology advances, as we get better, you know, major issues that used to cause famine, that used to be considered a plague, don't really happen anymore uh, because we've advanced so much within technology and pest control techniques. So again, hopefully you got some benefit and value out of this video. If you did, feel free to comment and share. And then also be sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest pest control tips and tricks to keep your home pest free. And then also if you have specific pest issues, definitely reach out to us over at rovepestcontrol.com. And also if you happen to be a first time customer, you can head to rovepestcontrol.com 
forward slash 50 off and just fill out that information there and as a first time customer get $50 off your first service with us. So if you have specific pest issues that you need help with or you want to just set up a general pest control to help protect your home, reach out to us at rowofpestcontrol.com and then like I said once again to get that great discount as a first time customer you can head to rowofpestcontrol.com forward slash 50 off to get that discount. But again, thanks for tuning in. We'll talk to you more soon.